Hey, Royal folks, good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. So the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's son was every inch the perfect prince in his smart suit and tie yesterday at Wimbledon. But the temperatures were hitting 28 Celsius, and it was no wonder the young royal found himself struggling. Many onlookers may find it confusing or even amusing, but there are many royal protocols that members of the UK family are expected to follow. These can include anything from how they dress to how they speak and present themselves, food etiquettes, and even accessories that they wear. And I know you guys desperately want to hear what happened. But before we move on to any further details, I would love to thank all of you, each and every one of you, for your enormous love and support. Thank you so much. And in case you haven't yet subscribed, I mean, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon. And if you're really enjoying this content and getting something out of it, I would really appreciate and encourage you. Please, please support me via Patreon. Your support would be highly appreciated. Please, the link is in the description. Thank you very, very much. All right, so guys, the rumors are true. Prince George and Prince William had a small conflict between them at Wimbledon. Thus, Prince George refused to accept Prince William's advice at Wimbledon after complaining that he was too hot. Prince George, the firstborn child of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Prince William and Kate Middleton, is all of eight years old, but he has started to dress like his father, formal wear, during public appearances. And a video surfaced of the little George eight telling his father, Prince William, he was too hot in his outfit after hugging William. The young prince initially said he was feeling okay, but then complained about the temperature as he walked along with his parents. Fans on social media also expressed concern about the youngster being too warm, and royal editor Robert Jobson tweeted that while William and Kate were being respectful of the All England's Club formal dress code, nobody would have minded George wearing something less formal. Speaking on his YouTube channel, Mr. Neil Sean said Prince William did allow the fact that he wanted to allow his eldest son, Prince George, to take his jacket off, but he didn't want to. He liked to follow suit about what his father is doing. To all those saying it's unfair, he's an eight-year-old boy, da, 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 da. this tradition, this is what George will have to get used to. He's representing our monarch, even at this very young age. But more importantly, what all little boys want to do, he wanted to be like his dad and keep his jacket on. When he got in the car, of course, things were a little bit different. You now, after leaving center court, the Wimbledon champion stopped to chat with Prince George and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Dijerlook was brought into a VIP area at the All England Club where he handed over the men's trophy for the eight-year-old George to hold. Dijon also chatted to the royals for several minutes, speaking about how their sons are similar ages before they shook hands. Before the final, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge greeted ball boys and girls, as well as military personnel, with Prince George in the Millennium Building. So guys, what do you think about all this? Do you think Prince George is the best suitable representative for our next generation of Monarch? Go ahead, write it down in the comment section below and let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates, go ahead and like this, subscribe, and press that bell icon. It is really as simple as that. So. Till next time, guys, hasta la vista.